All right, guys, this is round two. Once again, another video for reference. In our first video, we had a couple of botched up numbers, um, mainly because I wasn't reading the degree wheel properly. Essentially, I was making it a lot harder for myself. I was trying to add up the absolute total of degrees instead of just reading the number right off the plate. Where I got confused is I had seen some degree wheels that had also gone all the way to 180. And this one's in increments up to 90. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to read the number off of the degree wheel um, for each of the port openings um, and then times that by two to get the duration. So starting with our exhaust opening, she just peeks over the top should be right at 72 degrees there we go yeah i got 72 degrees on the degree wheel where the top of the exhaust is just barely showing like just barely okay um on the other side of the degree wheel at 72 degrees is where it closes and turns out it's that way for all the ports i didn't realize that so that made it a lot harder in my brain <laughs> But yeah, at 72 degrees past bottom dead center is where it comes up and just starts to close the port. You just barely see the top. Okay, so exhaust opens at 72 degrees and the duration is 144 degrees. In my last video, I said 154. That was wrong. The exhaust duration is 144 degrees of travel. All right, let's move on to our transfers. I have them written on here at opening at 54 degrees. So let's go ahead and open them up. Just barely see the top of the transfer. Yep, right at 54 degrees on the degree wheel. And when I go around to 54 again, that should be right where it's closing. Yep, just barely see the top. Right there 54 degrees transfers are just closed okay and that gives us a transfer duration of 108 degrees of travel moving on to the intake and this is where I really botched it up yesterday because I was basically starting from top said top dead center on the degree wheel and going all the way around adding up the numbers uh, the number I got I believe is right but it doesn't matter because that's not how people read degree wheels I guess Anyways, our intake opens right about there, just a sliver on the bottom. I think I have 63 degrees. Let's check it again. Wrong one. Yeah, so it's just barely opening at 63 degrees on the degree wheel. It's, yeah, there. So there's top dead center. There's 63 degrees. Okay. Okay. Um, that times two is 126 degrees of duration. Because if we go around to 63 degrees again, that should be just where it's closing. And it is. I just see a sliver of uh, the void under the piston. So, assuming I did it right this time, we have... Exhaust opening at 72 degrees, duration of 144 degrees, transfer opening at 54 degrees, duration of 108 degrees, giving us a blowdown of 18 degrees, intake opening at 63 degrees, duration 126 degrees. I think I think we're good this time. Yeah, so we're good. Um, so he already figured out the exhaust modifications that we should make based off of what we got in the first video because I didn't botch it that part up too bad um, but if you're using a bigger degree wheel that has all the way to 180 degrees from top dead center to bottom dead center you should have 108 degrees um, for the exhaust opening so I guess a lot of this has to do with what kind of degree wheel you're using and what you're used to because I guess some people read them different ways if there is a standard way to read these degree wheels and two-stroke ports, if you want to make 
uh, the simple video for absolute dummies like me on how to properly read a degree wheel when you're doing port timing and stuff like that, that'd be great. But I think we got it. Anyways, let me know in the comments how we're doing. And uh, these numbers should be good. So, yeah, work your magic and then we'll get to work.